Hi guys, I managed to get the dark fire with my low level character so I thought I'd explore deathless mode for the first time with this new low level character and it's about level 39 this Cyrus and I thought I'll start a new series of the deathless mode and I'll go through every act with this low level character in deathless mode. So I showed you there the gear that I had. I've got the Lost Axe of Garlith from the Collector and the High Dark Fire in it. And also that new shield I bought for one of the stages. So with all that equipped and a health potion, I started the adventure. And you'll see there I'm only on Awakening 14 in normal mode. And this was my first Deathless Mode quest and immediately I ran into the Dark Knight <laughs> but you know he's a floating boss and you know if you die with any Titan then you'll get put back but generally he's higher than most Titans he's more of a boss level and I think I got um, immediately hit I'm not sure or otherwise it was the block because I haven't got 100% rainbow defense but other than that, I was doing pretty well. And I bought the Gobble because that's available at the moment. It's one of the Holiday Helms. And it's got the Triangle slot, which is good for the Great Parry All Gem or a, or a Triangle Titan Break 3 or 2 Gem. Anyway, he was down pretty quick and <laughs> no problem with my new Dark Fire. And I was pretty pleased to get that, well, I was very pleased actually, and that large key. So I decided to use that in this act, but you'll see that later. And with that dark fire, I managed to get 37 perfect parries in that last round at the end. And I did it with Cyrus with dual weapons and without freeze. And what I recommend is as you go through your normal gameplay, try and get perfect parries. You know, treat every Titan fight as practice for the Aegis Tornids. And you'll see I got a goal there for fighting 100 Titans with heavy weapon. And I'm really keen on using the heavy weapon with the new character slot because it definitely has more attack than your other weapon classes when you're new and that Lost Axe of Garlith is great you can see it's got 720 attack and I'm showing there the equipment that's available in Deathless Mode in the store but you have to be in Deathless Mode to see it and a lot of it's quite expensive but I bought that wormhole ring because it has heal and a hex slot which is good for the titan break gems so far with this character I've only managed to get titan break 1 gems and I did get that great parry all from the chest the hideout chest recently and now the dark fire and they're my best gems in this character other than that I don't have a lot and I notice when you start a new character you do get a 25% rare defense gem in the hideout chest so that's a good start because um, that means you're a quarter of the way there to get in the 100% right from the beginning and you know I haven't got much more than that I think I've got a 10% one and maybe two 10% extra rare defense gems but this is only my second playthrough with this character so I'm really not gone far with the character yet I've beaten the worker once and it's with the dark fire it's definitely possible to get through deathless mode even at this early stage and the benefit of deathless mode apart from the gear that you'll get is you can level up past level 10 and I get asked that a lot you know how do I level up past level 10 <laughs> well the answer is play deathless mode you need to play all the acts and quests and beat the worker in act 5 
and then you can level up to level 15 and then you need to play another five deathless modes meaning beat the worker in deathless mode five more times and then you can level up to level 20 and it continues from there so every five whole deathless mode playthroughs beating the worker five times you can then level up another five levels so that's how it works and I have got videos on that and I'll put a link to them in the description under this video but that's how it works and here I am fighting MX Elite <laughs> and I did get into a little bit of trouble here but uh, it's mainly I'm not so used to cracking their step backs with heavy weapon I always use dual I prefer dual because of the dodging the center dodge you know I like how you can get out the way <laughs> and you don't have to use anything like shield you know so especially as you get higher you know my high level character one hit takes off heaps of shield even with the you know rare defense gem it still takes off a lot of shield so at this stage of course it doesn't and you can get shield back with heavy by parrying every parry adds one more shield point but I still do prefer dual because you can just get out of the way <laughs> and also you get longer breaks with dodge breaks especially if you've got titan break gems equipped they really come into their own with dual rather than parry breaks but block breaks with light also are long if you have titan break gems However, with heavy, you really want to go for parry breaks. You can perform p combos with parry breaks. If you get a block break with heavy, then you need to swipe in the opposite direction and not perform any combos. Um, otherwise, your break will end as soon as you perform a combo with a block break. And combos are if you swipe twice in the same direction. So if you swipe in the opposite direction, it will extend your break. And I've got a guide on fighting with heavy, so I'll put that in the description under this video as well. And you'll see I bought that Yule Axe because I could afford it, but I wasn't going to use it in this deathless mode. I didn't want to take the dark fire gem out of my lost axe of Garlith. And anyway, I haven't got another square gem slot but it costs 50,000 to remove it so I wasn't going to fight without it in deathless mode I'd rather you know not master my gear than fight without that dark fire so now it's on to the boss and he's not too high level 225 so that's the first boss in the first deathless mode that's pretty low but he does have spectrum defense so I put on my nullify magic because nullify removes spectrum defense and it removes all element defense but it's particularly useful with bosses and obviously elemental titans that also have spectrum defense and I equipped a health potion just in case because the thing is if you die in deathless mode you're sent back to the hideout and you lose all the gear that you have equipped now to get it back you can go back to deathless mode and win the fight against the titan that you lost to and if you win you get everything back but you still then have to complete the whole deathless mode quest for it to be returned to you and if you don't win then when you go back to the hideout again the second time you can buy all your gear from the shop and however i managed there to defeat radiar i didn't die also the the gear will get returned to you after seven days and sometimes it gets returned earlier but i didn't want to take that risk <laughs> and so I stuck with my dark fire and I got that large key at the beginning so that gave me their nearly 200,000 gold so that was really great 
and I decided to buy that Patriot Shield. It's pretty good. It's got two diamond slots for the rare defense gems and also a hex slot for an extra titan break gem. So that's a pretty unusual gem slot sequence. And I thought I'd show you at the end because I often get asked with my low level character how do I get the chips. So you can see there I get chips from completing goals and I had a bit of a jackpot because <laughs> I hadn't picked up the goals for a while. So that's taken me well over 4,000 now and I'll be buying the obscure map next for the next Deathless Mode quest. So see you then for part two. Thanks for watching Tamil Channel, your favourite channel for Infinity Blade. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe and check out my website and social pages. Thanks, see you next time.